Hello traders, welcome to the 7th module of the Advanced Technical Analysis course, Harmonic Patterns. In this lesson we're going to teach you how to trade and how to draw the bearish and the bullish Gartley. A little bit of history before we start, okay? The Gartley was discovered by H. M. Gartley in 1935, even though we didn't discuss the specific Fibonacci ratios in his book. He Scott Carney assigned the specific retracements of the B point and D point to it. The retracement levels that yield the most reliable reversals are the 618 at the B point and the 786 at the D point. Now, let's see some uh, actual drawings so you can better understand what we're talking about. Uh, the, uh, the B point, which is this one, has to retrace 61.8 of the XA leg for us to start to get a valid Gartley. Then the D point must retrace 78.6 of the XA leg for us to get a reliable Gartley. And here you will have the buying zone in a bullish Gartley. In a bearish Gartley, it is the same but on the opposite side. The XA leg is a, is a down wave and the AB leg, which has to retrace 61.8, is an up leg. As well as the C leg, CD leg, which has to retrace a full amount of 78.6 of the XA leg for us to get a valid bearish godly and for us to be able to short this area. But we also have a, a few other con considerations or conditions that we need to t uh, keep in mind for us to actually have a valid Gartley to trade. The pattern should possess a distinct A equal A B equal C D pattern that converges in the same area as the 786 XA retracement. This means that this area right here, which is the 786 retracement, has to be also a convergence of a perfect A B equal C D pattern. And the A B equal CD pattern is of course the point A, B, C and D. So uh, to, to uh, give you a full image of what a Gartley is, first of all you have to pick a XA leg up and a retracement. If uh, the AB leg retraces 61.8 we can start to think that we might have a Gartley in our hands. Then the C point has to retrace between 38.2 and 88.6 and the D point has to retrace 78.6% of the XA leg and we must have an AB equals CD pattern right here. The D point has also to convert has also to converge with uh, the 78.6 XA retracement and the 127.2 161.8 BC extension. Now let me explain this to you, okay? The D point has to retrace 78.6% of the XA leg, but it also has to be an extension of the ABC move, okay? An extension that has to be between 127 and 161.8. So those are all the rules for you to have a valid uh, Gartley in your hands and if you have a valid Gartley in your hands the D point is the buying area in a bullish Gartley and the D point should be a selling area in a bearish Gartley. Now let's look at an example okay and uh, here you have an up move and uh, as I told you before we start with uh, the first leg and uh, you see that we have a an X A point, an X point here, and we can grab an A point here because we are starting to retrace, and we get a full retracement. Okay, now after we get this retracement, we need to uh, draw or to measure the Fibonacci retracement level that has been hit right here, and uh, the way to draw it is from point X to point A, and we get a 618 retracement level. So we pick this as our point B. 
and uh, now we can start to think that we might have a uh, godly in our hands so we continue to follow price and in this case price actually bounces off the 61.8 and goes all the way up to the 78.6 retracement of the leg a b which is right between the the um, ratios that needed to be on this point for us to have a valid c point then price bounces down of the 78.6 percent and we hit the 78.6 percent retracement of the leg x a which is also the 127.2 extension of this move right here so we do have a valid Godly in our hands and our buying zone has to be this area right here with our stops below the X and uh, the first targets can be around uh, this area of uh, previous resistance and uh, the last target should be around the C point and as you can see in this example price moves all the way up to the A point. So this is how you follow price uh, in order to spot a harmonic pattern. Okay, you have to follow price. Be, be, uh, at first, you have to follow the first leg. Then you have to measure the first Fibonacci retracement level. If it's hit, if it is if if it is hit, and if price bounces off it, you've measured the second Fibonacci ratio, which is the the Fibonacci ratio with of the legs of the leg a b if it bounces off of it you go and you see if it hits the fibonacci ratio that we need from the leg x a and the fibonacci extension from the bc move and if it does you have a high probability trade in your hands and you must take it